Joe from the Queers. Cheeto from the Queers. When I moved here, all of a sudden I kind of, I don't pay attention to rap, all of a sudden I realized it was kind of like this rap mecca place because, oh, I don't know, I went into Zach's studios or something buying some gear and the owner was really cool and these like rap guys in there smoking pot and they had a like real bad vibe to them. I don't know who they were, but I was like, whoa, dude. And, uh, and then I kind of, my neighbor when we lived down in Midtown on 13th Street used to, um, co-manage Angie Stone, she's not a rapper. But anyway, by and large, I started kind of meeting, realizing how big it was, because I don't run in those circles. So um, I always looked at Atlanta as like a rock and roll type place. Um, and then, you know, the, the Allman Brothers used to play here a lot and stuff. And some of my, my old amp repair guy, Bill, um, he knew Atlanta Rhythm Section and the Allman Brothers and a bunch of these other rock and roll guys who were from here. Um, I can't think of all their names. So I kind of looked at it, I, I don't know, I didn't realize until I got here that it was like so big in the rap scene. But I mean, the one thing I joke about all the time is I'll read the paper and I tell these guys, I'm like, every other week down here in Atlanta you read the paper and there's another rap guy that's apparently huge that you've never heard of. I'm like. You know, Slim Duncan, I, he died before I even knew who he was. I was like, he's big, and I was like, oh man. And it's just like, I don't know any of these guys. It happens all the time, <laughs> but we're just running in different circles. Having said that, I've met a lot of the rap guys. When we were over there for that festival where I met Sil Sylvain, Nine Inch Nails, Dolls, Marky Ramone, and a few other bands played in China. Um, anyway, I went through customs with, with the public enemy people, and I mentioned, I think they were all there, uh, Chuck's parents, I believe. But anyway, I said I'm from Atlanta, and so we started talking, and they were, couldn't be nicer people. Uh, matter of fact, one of the guys from public enemy came on stage with us for a few songs. To me, uh, I, I thought it was more a way of life, this thug thing, and then the ones I've met have been super into the music and excited to hear what we did, and you know, even though we're at punk rock, you know, truly excited about music. And that kind of was an eye opener for me and kind of a cool thing, I thought, too. It's a good home base, you know. I like living here. Um, I'd rather live here than, say, like Philly or New York or somewhere like that. Um, I like it because, you know, you can drive north and hit the mountains, you know, in 45 minutes, an hour or so. You can, uh, you know, get to Florida in about four or five hours. So, I mean, I like it. It's essentially located at a big airport. We could hop to. You know, we're about to take a flight to Mexico next week, you know, there's an airport right there. It's a good town. I don't know, East Atlanta is really kind of uh, kind of growing. I like I like hanging out there, I like going to the Earl. The food's great there, the Earl, Flatiron Bar, 529, I heard they just expanded. I haven't been there since uh, they expanded the room, but I've always seen, I've seen some great shows there. Um, you, ever, you heard of Municipal Waste? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the little uh, thrash metal band and uh, I went there, I couldn't believe that they were even playing in that tiny room. There were people like with boogie boards that were surfing the crowd and stuff. But yeah, I, I, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, they expanded that room. Um, but that's kind of where I hang out. I use Atlanta and sometimes, you know, like Star Bar, a little five points, that, that whole area. Having the studio, it's at my house so we don't have any overhead. And it's another dream come true because I can help bands. There's a ton of great bands out there that don't have money to record in a good studio. Um, I know because we've been there. So um, it's great that these bands that don't have money, some bands, um, I can say, come on in, man, it's not about the money. I'm just doing it for love of, of, I like the energy. And I was thinking that same thing when you guys were setting up here today. I go, see, I like this. There's just, I like the energy of the arts, you know, or whatever it is, music or photography or whatever. I just like that energy. And there's always something going on and, and, um, and I like that. I always have liked that and that's, you know, with the studio, it's just word of mouth. If you're a band, hit me up, I'm a soft touch. You know, if you got a hard luck story and need to play three chord, come on up. Just don't tell my wife I'm only charging a hundred bucks for a week, so. <laughs> Again, kind of getting back to the whole vibe of the place. I really like the fact it's not, it's not some big, 
Philly, New York City, San Fran type city. That's what I love about Atlanta. It's, it's got a personality.